Hi guys, PVG Hill here, and welcome to a new game called Dead Secret. Now it's another short, like, psychological thriller horror game kind of thing, and uh, I thought it would be good for replacing the guest. I don't know how this is going to record, so hopefully it records well. Let's start a new game here, and this game is meant for VR, but I don't have a VR headset, so... So yeah. Hopefully, it won't totally suck. Harris Bullard was found dead in his study five days ago. Nobody believes me, but I think he was murdered. This house in the middle of nowhere holds the secret. There's a story hiding here, and I'm going to cover it. If I'm right, there are four major suspects. Graham Wellington, Josie Herrera, Cynthia Peckman, Bobby Sawyer. Aaron I'm not leaving boy. until I find out what happened. Okay. So a guy got murdered. How do I... How do I move? Oh, it's like point and click. Oh, okay. My arm's broken. Okay. Small parcel tied tightly with twine. I can't open it with my bare hands. Okay. Hello. All right. In and out. Easy. Just have to find some evidence. Get out of here. Okay. Reclusive professor found dead in home. September 23rd, 1965. Uh, Gove, Kansas. Harris Bullard, a retired college teacher, was found dead in his home Monday. The body was discovered by Bobby Sawyer, who worked part-time for Bullard, running odd jobs. A police investigation has concluded that Bullard died of natural causes. He was 63. Bullard moved into his home on Rampo Way several years ago, but was rarely seen about town. He was a private and reclusive man who seemed to have few friends. Bullard raised eyebrows last year when a former student, a pretty young woman named Josie Herrera, moved in with him. Bullard's will, written in 1957, leaves his entire estate to his ex-wife, Cynthia Peck Peckman. Peckman will reportedly sell the house and its contents immediately. Harris was a, ge a genius in his discipline, said Graham Wellington, a former colleague. The field of neuroscience is considerably poorer without him. Oh. Clues. Retired recluse found dead in his study. Police ruled death natural. Bobby Sawyer ran errands for Bullard. Found the body. Josie Herrera, Bullard's live-in assistant. Cynthia Peckman, ex-wife, inheritor of Bullard's estate. Graham Wellington, former colleague. Okay, so collecting all kinds of clues, and yes, this is very obviously meant for VR, but I do not have the means to get VR. An old piano is blocking the way. Okay. Fine. They sure aren't wasting any time selling off Bullard's stuff. Okay. This is it. The crime scene. Do I want to go in here first? Wait, this isn't the crime scene. I need to investigate the study. Okay, fine. Let's go in here. I'm sure this door leads to the room Bullard's body was found in, but it's locked. Okay. Small key unlocked the door. Yay! In we go. That thing opened. Um, there's a demon mask on the door. I want to walk here. I want to open this. The Snow Woman, adapted from an original translation by Lafcadio Hearn. An old man and his son climbed a mountain to collect firewood. It began to snow heavily, and unable to make it back home, they decided to pass the night in a small hut. In the middle of the night, the young man awoke to see that the door had blown open. A tall woman with long hair and a white kimono was leaning over his father, blowing her breath upon him. When she saw that the son was awake, she said, You are a handsome young man, so I will let you live. But if you ever speak of this to anyone, your life shall be forfeit. In the morning, the young man found his father frozen and dead. He climbed down the mountain alone and never spoke of the episode. A year later, he met and married a young, beautiful girl. They had children together and were happy. But the night of his father's death still weighed heavily on his mind. One night, after having a bit too much to drink, the man told his wife about his encounter with the snow woman. This music is getting really loud. She was furious. You promised not to tell, she screamed, and before his eyes she became the tall woman with long black hair and a white kimono. 
If it were not for our children, I would end your life here and now. I will spare you for their sake, but if anything ever happens to them, you shall pay the price. And with that, she melted into the wind and was gone. What a lovely story. Dictionaries and language reference. It looks like a lot of these books aren't even in English. Can I turn down the music? Is that something I can do? Um, no? Apparently not. Apparently I am totally stuck with this. Good grief. Okay, so that's a globe. I can do some things. One of them appears to be missing. Well, what is it? It's a clay statue with a weird face. Issues of the Journal of Physiology and a bunch of medical books with names I can't pronounce. Okay. I've never seen a map laid out like this. There's a spot marked with an X on it. Paper. Harris Bullard. I am Woodcutter. Your past has caught up with you. It is over. Oh. Who is Woodcutter? Threatening Bullard. What's this? So note with a foreign symbol on it, underneath it reads north. Okay, scissors, I can use these to open that package in the other room, okay. Phone, no dial tone, so the phone line's cut, got a typewriter. Something ty Something's typed out here, but the paper is so far into the feeder I can't pull it out. So can I like, I don't know, type something on it? No? I can't. I can't type something on it. Joe, something is after me. It's creeping around the house, trying to get in. I'm sure of it. I heard footsteps outside and creaking on the roof. It's not safe here. I've taken the idiofocal lenses from their normal location and hidden them in my study. I've sent you a package that you'll know what to do with. Check the map for the mask. As usual, X marks the spot. Harris. P.S. The sequence is west, east, north. Bullard hid something in this room. Very suspicious. This will be a great hook for my opening paragraph. Okay, X marks the spot then. There's an X indicated on the map. Why mark such a beautiful map? I think the X is over Japan. Okay. Is this a Japanese? No. Maybe the globe? Ah, okay. Okay. It's a small box. Let's get a better look at it on the desk, okay? Hold on, let's finish looking around this room first. This is where Bobby Sawyer found Bullard's body. He's been dead for a couple of days, though, okay. I want to finish looking around here first. I think I've seen masks like this before. Maybe they are Japanese? Kind of feels like they're looking at me. What did they see in this room? These masks make me uncomfortable. Bullard had some pretty advanced degrees. This one is from the University of Chicago, 1935, but I'd love, boy, I'd love to visit Chicago. Quantum mechanics, functional analysis, not exactly light reading. Doesn't turn on. Guess it's broken. One of Bullard's diplomas. What is this? Oh, hello. What's this? It looks like a tiny camera lens. Oh, circular lens. Okay. I get like a, a slight vibe of... Oh, it's a record player. No record inside, though. I get a vibe of like old school horror games from this. It's a picture of a woman. She's wearing a white kimono and standing in the snow. Is this a painting of this house? Something about this painting makes me uncomfortable. It's very bleak. Is there anything outside? Really? Really? You're gonna use the cheap jump scares on me like that? Oh, 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 there's definitely something under this cushion. Hello. There's a page from a manuscript. The man who could see with his skin. In 1926, I met a man who could see with his skin. His eyes were sealed with wax and bandaged, yet he remained aware of the room around him. 
We held up signs, which he read, and fingers, which he counted, even when we stood behind him. After the performance, I gave him $200 for the secret. He explained that he could see as long as some part of his skin remained exposed to the air. He described it as a shift in the wind or a slight breeze on his face, the subtle motion of the hair on his arm. After years of focus and practice, he had developed the ability to form a mental image of his surroundings based only on these slight sensations. This man had achieved a form of idiofocus. Granted, he only had access to a very narrow range of sensory information, but the result was powerful. I immediately resolved to discover the secret of his ability. Now, almost four decades later, I am very close. There's a newspaper clipping here. It reads, Eyeless Joe found dead in hotel. Weird. Quite. Should I go out and open the, um... I think I should. I think I should go out and open the thing. What's this? Oh, that's okay. Excuse me? Okay, what's this? It's an old book. It says Quaidan on the cover. Whatever that means, the author is Lef Claudio Hearn. Okay, old book. All right, let's go back in the study again then. That TV was not on earlier. Come on now. I'm going to look at this thing first here. What is this? One of the buttons is missing. One of the buttons is missing. Okay. What's your deal then, TV? Shush. This was not working before. That's weird. I could have sworn the TV was off before. It was off before. You are absolutely correct. Another... I found another lens. I found two of them now. Okay. Back out. Well, freaking roll it back out then. Oh, there we go. I didn't realize there was something I could click on. Jeez. Okay. Writing about Ouija boards in 1852, William Benjamin Carpenter was the first to describe the phenomenon known as the ideometer effect. The ideometer effect occurs when the subconscious mind takes control of the body without the conscious mind realizing it. Ideometer action is distinct from other forms of involuntary action because responses are driven by existing knowledge and perception. The Ouija board, Carpenter suggested, is a clear manifestation. The participants unwittingly move the pl planchette because their subconscious mind is guiding them. Another example of this phenomenon is dousing. The practice of using a divining rod to locate water or other materials buried underground. The dowser holds the instrument in both hands and allows it to lead him forward until it points down at the ground, seemingly by itself. For centuries, dowsing was believed to be a form of magic or witchcraft, but we now know that it can be explained by the ideometer effect. The dowser's subconscious mind is highly sensitive and is able to recognize cues in the environment of which his conscious mind is not aware. When these cues hint at the location of water, the subconscious mind takes control of the dowser's hands and causes him to rotate the rod to the ground. Wow. There's a lot of long-winded reading to be done in this. But what did that get me exactly? Is it like one of these books? Oh. 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 Can't push the book all the way back. Feels like it's hitting something. Wait, there's something jammed back there. It's a flat triangular wedge. There's some sort of foreign writing on it. Okay. Aha! Progress. Progress has been made. One of the buttons is missing. Okay. Now, open our inventory. Grab this thingamajig. Use it on that. Okay. Okay. Now, what did, where did that get me exactly? So, note with this foreign symbol on it, underneath it reads North. I'm 
Okay, hold on. Uh, let's go back to that note here. Research documents. Was it this one? Taken the ideofocal lenses from their normal location, hidden them in my study. I've sent you a package that you'll know. Ah, west, east, north. West, east, north. Okay. Um, so I'm assuming then this is going to be whatever. So if that's north here, we're going to want west, east, north. Oh, hello. That is one creepy flipping mask. I see the lenses fit into the mask's eye sockets. It's like a weird pair of goggles. Oh, God. That is freaking creepy as hell. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Sir? Who was that? That's exactly what I'm thinking. Uh, can I, like, can I wear this all the time? Ooh. Is there any other weird stuff I can see? Oh. There was a page taped to the back. Okay. Josie, if you're reading this note, then something must have happened to me. I may be dead or missing. If so, you're the only person who can save our research. The truth, the truth is that I'm being threatened. It started before I left the college. I get notes every few months from somebody calling himself Woodcutter. What he wants is access to our research. He wants me to turn over our plans for the Lunar Dream apparatus. Josie, my life is in danger. Woodcutter knows things, secret things, about my past that nobody should know. I'll not yield to simple blackmail, but lately... Oh. Primary suspect. Ordered by Bullard to destroy their research and split. I knew there was more to this story. Whatever Bullard was mixed up in, I bet there's evidence in that safe. Okay. Who is Woodcutter? Open the safe upstairs. I didn't get to read that whole note, so I'm going to go back to that. Uh, notes to Josie. Uh, there we go. I feel like I didn't read this whole... There we go. The threats have escalated. I am sure that I am being watched at the house. I sometimes hear things on the other side of the wall. Yesterday, with the mask on, I thought I saw somebody reaching for me. It's a warning from my subconscious. I am no longer safe here. I have locked our research away in the safe upstairs. I want you to retrieve it and leave. Destroy everything before you go. Burn the house down if you have to. Just get the research and get out of here. Head for a big city where it's easy to hide. I'm counting on you, Joe. Don't let our work fall into their hands. Harris. Okay. Right on. And on that note, I think I will leave it here. I think I will leave it here, folks. Um, this is an interesting game. It definitely feels really old, cool, old school. Almost, it's definitely like a point-and-clicky kind of thing, and I can very easily tell that this is meant for VR. But that's okay. I think it's it's good enough just on a regular PC. And remember, if you like this video, hit the like button down below. If you really liked it, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and leave me a comment. Letting me know your general thoughts, your overall thoughts, what you liked, what you didn't like, and any suggestions you might have for ga other games you want me to play. And if this video just blew your mind, then share it with your friends, your family, your loved ones, random people you meet on the street, whatever floats your boat. And I will see you in the next one. See you later.